A double homicide in Newtown has turned into an international story. It's on the front page of websites in every major newspaper in the UK. The Sun, The Guardian, The Times, UK. Today, Sarasota's mayor and police chief held a news conference to respond to the shooting deaths of two British visitors here over the weekend. And joining me now is Herald Tribune reporter Anthony Cormier. And you've been on this story since it first broke Saturday, is that correct? Yes. And can you bring us up to speed of where we are right now? Uh, we know very little, um, other than we know that the two men are dead, that, we, that a 16-year-old is in custody, and that the police are being pretty tight-lipped about the whole thing. And what can you tell me about this 16-year-old? Has Does he have a previous record? He does. Tyson. Uh, his name is Sean Tyson. He lives uh, in the courts, which is a a housing project in Newtown. In fact, he lives with his mother about two blocks away from where the murder scene was. He was arrested in uh, early April, quickly released after he was accused of shooting the taillight out of a car, uh, out of kind of a, a rival of his. And I know that he was not enrolled in school this year. I think we just found that out with Sarasota County. He was enrolled in June of 2010 um, at Oak Park School, mm -hmm. and he's not enrolled this year. But why do we think the mayor is getting involved at this point? To spin it. Right. I mean, I mean, t they, I've never. We went to the news conference this morning, and I've covered many, many, many homicides in in, in my journalism career, and I've never right. seen that kind of political response to a killing. This is an incident where, like you said, it's made international headlines, and and there are quite a number of British tourists who come to to, to Southwest Florida, especially to Sarasota, and I, I, the city doesn't want it to get out there that this is some crime-ridden, dangerous city that they want British tourists to keep coming back. So, it, it was. Pure and simple, it was spin. And there's been a number of rumors out there of, of why these people were in that area. Do we have any idea of the motive behind no, this killing right no now? No clue. No clue. I, it's, it's, there's no businesses there. There are no restaurants there. There is nothing that would have suggested two tourists would have been visiting that neighborhood at that time of night. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Thanks. Anthony. And you can look for Anthony's story in tomorrow's Herald Tribune. So look out for that.